Hi everyone, I'm Yao, and in this video I will show you how to set up VS Code on your machine and configure it for developing Node.js application. First, to install VS Code, you need to open a browser and go to code.visualstudio.com. You will end up on this web page, and from there you just have to click on download to get the setup file for your operating system. For me, it's Mac. Once the download is finished, open the setup file that has been downloaded and just follow the instruction. I'm not going to show that because it's different depending on the operating system you're using. Once you have finished installing VS Code, open it and I will show you the best extension for developing Node.js application. I've selected these five extensions to get started with. Of course, you can always add some other later, but if you're looking to get started with Node.js, from my opinion, these are the bare minimum to be efficient while developing Node.js application. The first one I wanted to show you is NPM IntelliSense. This extension does a lot of things regarding NPM, but my favorite one is to be able to quickly generate code for importing libraries in your code. Let me show you. If I start developing a new application, probably you will want to import some package. From there, I can open the VS Code command palette and search for npm intelligence import module. Once I've selected that, it will automatically list all the packages I've already installed in my project. From there, you can just choose one and pick other one and it will generate the code for the import. It's not much, but it can save you a lot of time. Another one I've wanted to show you is this Eslint extension. Eslint is a tool that you will probably use in all your Node.js projects because it will save you a lot of time avoiding you to make silly mistakes. For example, if I take this code here, you can see there's some issues already detected, like the fact that I did not define this variable. You can also open the problem window and see all the problems that exist in your project. Once I fix the issue, and there all problems are gone. The next extension is Prettier. Prettier is a code formatter and that will guarantee you that whoever is writing the code it will always be formatted the same way. I go back to my code here, open the command palette and choose format document. The first time it will tell me to choose between multiple formatters. If I click on configure I can choose Prettier from there and then you can see that it has automatically reformatted my code. It is really important to have some kind of formatter in a project to make sure you have a consistent code style uh, across all your files. The next extension I wanted to show you is called Document This. Because trust me, you will want to put at some point comments in your code to make sure that everyone, and that includes you, <laughs> understand what was written. If I go back to my code here, if you type in a special command that starts with two stars, we will by default have this option to generate a template using this extension. And it will generate a special uh, documentation template based on JSDoc, which is a format. You can see that there's like params and return. It's a format to declare exactly what parameters, what type of parameters, what does it return, and you can give a short description and even you can document how the function works if needed. If you add these sorts of special commands everywhere in your code, you will be able to extract them and use the JSDoc tool to generate a proper HTML documentation from the source code and that's pretty useful. The last extension I wanted to show you is called REST Client. It's mostly useful if you're developing web APIs with Node.js. In my current application, I have a web server running. If you go back to files and create a file that ends up with .http, it's a special file and in there you can just type in some requests. So let me hit my local server that is running on Power 3000 here. You can see that I have this send request button. Once I click on this button, it will just send a get request by default on this server. You can see that I've received the response here. And now in this special HTTP file, you can also put in multiple requests. For example, I can add post requests. I can add in special headers here. I can add also a JSON body to my request. And if I send this one, you can see that I get a different result from my application. It's very useful because you can put requests for your whole HTTP API in a single file, include it in your repository and share it with all your coworkers. 
And that's it. With all these extensions, you should be more than ready to write your Node.js application. See you in the next video to learn more about Node.js.